go! Hey guys, my name's Sarah and I am president of the Los Angeles Dietetic Association and I'm here with Fatina, who is also on the Dietetic Association as public policy rep. So my, my first question is, what is Prop 37? That's a good question, Sarah. Proposition 37 states that all genetically modified foods need to be clearly labeled. Genetically modified food or genetically modified organism, pretty interchangeable, is a generic term used to describe the genetic alteration of crops, plants, and organisms through biotechnology, also referred to as recombinant DNA technology or genetically engineered. Okay. So they decided to do this because farmers wanted to create crops that are resistant to pesticides so they can spend less money um, on chemical pesticides. Also to help crops grow in cold weather and even fortifying, fortifying the crops with like rice and vitamin A. You'll see that more common in like third world countries where there's more malnutrition prevalent. So one of the most common questions that I receive and questions that I have are the health impact that GMO foods have. Is there one, is there a negative one, or are they harmless? What's the research say? So research is kind of controversial in this area. So one of the main health risks I could pose that is because we're doing this genetic alteration, we could possibly introduce a new allergy or new allergen or cause allergic reaction into individuals. There's very limited long-term studies that are studying the effects of genetically modified foods on human health consumption. The studies that are out there, a lot of people say they're flawed. But um, according to the World Health Organization, all the genetically modified foods that are on the current market have passed risk assessment and pose no adverse health effects at this time. That's very interesting. <laughs> Why are people against Prop 37? Uh, main people that are against Prop 37 are farmers and food companies. They say that if we pass this, then now there's going to be a huge increase in the cost of food because now they need to spend more money on the labeling and also, too, they need to find alternative methods to produce non-genetically modified food. And also with this proposition, um, anyone who suspects that someone's violating this prop, we have the right to sue without any evidence. So now that there's a litigation component too, people can file a lot of court cases and this can potentially increase the cost of courts. So how can I make my voice heard about my opinion on Prop 37? Okay, well this year, um, election day is Tuesday, November 6th, so um, go to the polls and if you vote yes on Prop 37, that means you want genetically modified foods to be labeled, okay? If you vote no, that means you do not want them to be labeled. Also good to point out that um, the foods that are exempt are restaurant foods, certified organic foods, alcohol, and actually animals that are fed genetically modified foods, but the animal themselves are not genetically modified. Wonderful, that was some great information. It's really good to know that there's been a lot of buzz on Prop 37, so hopefully the information that Fatina provided helps you make a decision on how you want to vote and just gives you more information to be an informed consumer. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.